Rich Dad, Poor Dad is a personal finance book written by Robert Kiyosaki, which teaches readers how to achieve financial independence through investing, real estate, and entrepreneurship. In Chapter 1, Kiyosaki introduces the two primary father figures in his life. His biological father, who was highly educated and held a stable job as a government employee, and his best friend's father, who owned several successful businesses and taught him about the importance of financial literacy. Kiyosaki describes how his real father had a traditional middle-class mindset that emphasized the importance of getting a good education, working hard, and climbing the corporate ladder. However, despite his father's efforts, the family struggled financially and lived paycheck to paycheck. In contrast, Kiyosaki's rich dad taught him how to think differently about money and wealth. He emphasized the importance of acquiring assets, things that put money in your pocket, instead of liabilities, things that take money out of your pocket, and how to use debt to your advantage. Kiyosaki explains that the rich dad taught him valuable financial lessons through real-world experiences, such as starting a small business, investing in real estate, and understanding the tax code. These lessons helped Kiyosaki become financially independent at a young age, while his biological father continued to work for money rather than having his money work for him. In summary, Chapter 1 of Rich Dad, Poor Dad sets the stage for the rest of the book, introducing the key concepts of financial literacy and the importance of acquiring assets rather than liabilities. Kiyosaki emphasizes the importance of learning from real-world experiences and mentors who have achieved financial success, rather than relying solely on traditional education and career paths. In Chapter 2 of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki discusses how the education system fails to teach people about money and financial literacy. He argues that most schools focus on teaching people to be employees rather than entrepreneurs or investors. Kiyosaki explains that his poor dad, his biological father, believed that a good education would lead to a secure job and financial success. However, Kiyosaki argues that this mindset is flawed because it does not teach people how to manage money or create wealth. In contrast, Kiyosaki's rich dad taught him that the most important skill to have is financial literacy, which includes understanding how money works, how to make money work for you, and how to protect your wealth. Kiyosaki argues that financial literacy is the key to financial success and that it is not something that can be learned in school. Kiyosaki also discusses the importance of taking risks and learning from failure. He argues that many people are afraid to take risks and prefer to stay in their comfort zone, but that taking calculated risks is necessary to create wealth and achieve financial independence. In summary, Chapter 2 of Rich Dad, Poor Dad highlights the shortcomings of the education system when it comes to teaching people about money and financial literacy. Kiyosaki emphasizes the importance of financial education and taking calculated risks in order to achieve financial success. In Chapter 3 of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki emphasizes the importance of understanding the difference between assets and liabilities. He argues that most people have a flawed understanding of these terms, which prevents them from achieving financial independence. Kiyosaki explains that an asset is something that puts money into your pocket, while a liability is something that takes money out of your pocket. He emphasizes the importance of acquiring assets and avoiding liabilities in order to create wealth. Kiyosaki also discusses the concept of cash flow, which is the amount of money that comes in and goes out of your bank account each month. He argues that it is important to have a positive cash flow, meaning that more money comes in than goes out, in order to achieve financial independence. Kiyosaki uses the example of a house to illustrate the difference between assets and liabilities. He argues that a house can be either an asset or a liability, depending on how it is used. If the house is rented out and generates income, it is an asset. If the house is a personal residence that requires regular maintenance and expenses, it is a liability. Kiyosaki also discusses the importance of using debt to your advantage. He argues that while most people view debt as a liability, it can actually be an asset if used correctly. For example, using debt to invest in assets that generate income can create positive cash flow and increase wealth. In summary, Chapter 3 of Rich Dad, Poor Dad 
highlights the importance of understanding the difference between assets and liabilities, as well as the concept of cash flow. Kiyosaki emphasizes the importance of acquiring assets, avoiding liabilities, and using debt to your advantage in order to create wealth and achieve financial independence. In Chapter 4 of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki discusses the importance of understanding taxes and how they impact one's financial situation. He argues that most people have a limited understanding of taxes and how to use them to their advantage. Kiyosaki explains that the tax code is designed to benefit entrepreneurs and investors who are able to take advantage of tax deductions and credits that are not available to employees. He emphasizes the importance of understanding these tax laws and using them to reduce one's tax liability. Kiyosaki also discusses the concept of financial statements, which are documents that show an individual's financial position and performance. He explains that understanding financial statements is essential for making informed financial decisions. Kiyosaki introduces three key financial statements, the income statement, the balance sheet, and the cash flow statement. He explains how each statement provides different information about an individual's financial situation and how they can be used to make informed financial decisions. Kiyosaki uses the example of a rental property to illustrate how understanding taxes and financial statements can impact one's financial situation. He shows how a rental property can generate income, create tax deductions, and increase one's net worth over time. In summary, Chapter 4 of Rich Dad, Poor Dad highlights the importance of understanding taxes and financial statements. Kiyosaki emphasizes the importance of taking advantage of tax laws and using financial statements to make informed financial decisions. He shows how understanding these concepts can help individuals increase their income, reduce their tax liability, and build wealth over time. In Chapter 5 of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki discusses the importance of building wealth through investing. He argues that investing is the key to achieving financial independence and creating long-term wealth. Kiyosaki explains that there are three main asset classes, stocks, bonds, and real estate. He argues that investing in stocks and bonds can be risky, as they are subject to market volatility and can result in losses. On the other hand, investing in real estate can provide stable, long-term returns. Kiyosaki emphasizes the importance of investing in cash-flowing assets, which are assets that generate income. He argues that investing in cash-flowing assets is the key to creating passive income and achieving financial independence. Kiyosaki also discusses the importance of diversification or spreading one's investments across multiple asset classes and investments. He argues that diversification can help mitigate risk and increase returns over the long term. Kiyosaki introduces the concept of leverage, which is the use of borrowed money to invest. He argues that leverage can be a powerful tool for building wealth, but it should be used cautiously and only in investments that generate positive cash flow. Kiyosaki also discusses the importance of education and self-improvement in investing. He argues that continually learning about investing and personal finance is essential for making informed decisions and achieving financial independence. In summary, Chapter 5 of Rich Dad, Poor Dad highlights the importance of investing in cash-flowing assets, diversification, and education in building long-term wealth. Kiyosaki emphasizes the benefits of investing in real estate, as well as the importance of using leverage cautiously and continually improving one's financial knowledge. In Chapter 6 of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki discusses the importance of taking control of one's financial future by starting a business. He argues that starting a business is one of the best ways to create wealth and achieve financial independence. Kiyosaki explains that starting a business provides several benefits, including the ability to create passive income, take advantage of tax benefits, and build long-term wealth. He argues that starting a business requires a mindset shift from being an employee to being an entrepreneur. Kiyosaki emphasizes the importance of choosing the right business model, which is a system for generating income. He explains that there are several business models to choose from, including direct sales, 
franchising, and licensing. Kiyosaki also discusses the importance of marketing and sales in starting a successful business. He argues that marketing and sales are essential for generating revenue and growing a business. Kiyosaki emphasizes the importance of taking calculated risks in starting a business. He argues that risk-taking is a necessary part of entrepreneurship and that successful entrepreneurs are able to manage risk effectively. In Chapter 7 of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki discusses the importance of learning from mistakes and failures in order to achieve success. He argues that failure is an essential part of the learning process and that successful individuals are able to learn from their mistakes and use them as opportunities for growth. Kiyosaki emphasizes the importance of taking responsibility for one's own financial education and making informed decisions based on one's own research and analysis. He argues that blindly following the advice of others can be dangerous and can lead to poor financial decisions. Kiyosaki also discusses the importance of taking action and not letting fear hold one back. He argues that taking action and making mistakes is better than doing nothing at all and missing out on opportunities. Kiyosaki introduces the concept of the CASHFLOW quadrant, which is a model for understanding different ways of generating income. The quadrant is divided into four categories employees, self-employed, business owners, and investors. Kiyosaki argues that moving from the left side of the quadrant employees and self-employed to the right side business owners and investors is essential for achieving financial independence. Kiyosaki emphasizes the importance of developing financial intelligence, which is the ability to understand financial concepts and use them to make informed decisions. He argues that developing financial intelligence requires ongoing education and a willingness to learn from one's mistakes. In summary, Chapter 7 of Rich Dad Poor Dad highlights the importance of learning from mistakes and failures in order to achieve financial success. Kiyosaki emphasizes the importance of taking responsibility for one's own financial education, taking action, and developing financial intelligence. He introduces the CASHFLOW quadrant as a model for understanding different ways of generating income, and argues that moving from the left side to the right side is essential for achieving financial independence. Rich Dad Poor Dad is a book written by Robert Kiyosaki that shares the author's financial education and personal experiences with his two fathers, his biological father Poor Dad and his best friend's father Rich Dad. In Chapter 8, Kiyosaki discusses the importance of learning how to sell. Kiyosaki begins by emphasizing that selling is a crucial skill in both personal and professional life. He notes that even if someone is not in a traditional sales position, they are still selling themselves and their ideas every day. Kiyosaki also dispels the myth that salespeople are dishonest or unethical, explaining that successful salespeople are actually great at building relationships and creating win-win situations. Next, Kiyosaki shares a story about his early days in the workforce. When he worked for Xerox as a salesperson, he explains how the company provided him with extensive training and taught him the importance of understanding the customer's needs and offering solutions. Kiyosaki also emphasizes that rejection is a natural part of sales, and it's important to learn from it and keep pushing forward. Kiyosaki then explains that sales skills are not just useful for making money, but also for creating opportunities and building networks. He shares examples of how his own sales skills helped him secure real estate, deals and negotiate better terms for business partnerships. Finally, Kiyosaki emphasizes that anyone can learn how to sell, but it takes practice and persistence. He encourages readers to start by focusing on understanding their own strengths and developing a unique selling proposition. He also advises seeking out mentors and finding opportunities to practice selling in everyday life. Overall, Chapter 8 of Rich Dad Poor Dad highlights the importance of sales skills for personal and professional success, and provides practical advice for developing these skills. In Chapter 9, Kiyosaki discusses the importance of overcoming obstacles and taking risks in order to achieve financial success. Kiyosaki begins by emphasizing that fear and uncertainty are common obstacles that can prevent people from taking risks and pursuing their dreams. He notes that many people are afraid of failure, but that failure is often a necessary step on the path to success. Kiyosaki also points out that financial success is not a destination, but a journey that requires ongoing learning and growth. Next, 
Kiyosaki shares a story about how he and his wife Kim took a risk by investing in a small business that sold nylon and Velcro wallets. The business was successful, but Kiyosaki notes that it also involved taking risks and overcoming obstacles, such as dealing with difficult customers and navigating the ups and downs of the market. Kiyosaki also emphasizes the importance of having a strong support system when pursuing financial success. He notes that having a mentor or a team of supportive friends and family, members can provide valuable guidance and encouragement. Finally, Kiyosaki emphasizes that the journey to financial success requires persistence and a willingness to take calculated risks. He encourages readers to take small steps towards their goals, such as reading books or attending seminars, and to view failures as opportunities to learn and grow. Overall, Chapter 9 of Rich Dad Poor Dad highlights the importance of overcoming obstacles and taking risks in order to achieve financial success. Kiyosaki encourages readers to view failures as opportunities for growth and to surround themselves with a supportive network. In Chapter 10, Kiyosaki discusses the importance of learning how to use your own skills and creativity to generate income. Kiyosaki begins by noting that traditional education often teaches people to become employees, working for someone else's business or corporation. However, he argues that in order to achieve financial independence, it's important to learn how to create and manage your own sources of income. Kiyosaki emphasizes that everyone has unique skills and talents that can be used to generate income. Next, Kiyosaki shares examples of how he and his wife Kim have used their own skills and creativity to generate income. For example, they have created board games and written books that have generated substantial income. Kiyosaki notes that these endeavors required hard work and persistence, but ultimately allowed them to achieve financial freedom. Kiyosaki also notes that there are many different ways to generate income, such as starting a business, investing in real estate, or creating intellectual property. He encourages readers to think creatively and to identify their own unique talents and skills that can be used to generate income. Finally, Kiyosaki emphasizes the importance of taking action and pursuing opportunities. He notes that it's easy to get caught up in analysis paralysis or fear of failure, but that ultimately, taking action is what leads to success. Overall, Chapter 10 of Rich Dad Poor Dad highlights the importance of learning how to use your own skills and creativity to generate income. Kiyosaki encourages readers to think outside the box and to take action in pursuing opportunities to achieve financial independence. In Chapter 11, Kiyosaki discusses the importance of understanding taxes and how they impact personal finances. Kiyosaki begins by emphasizing that taxes are a significant expense for many people and that understanding how taxes work is critical to achieving financial success. He notes that there are many different types of taxes, including income tax, property tax, and sales tax, and that each type of tax can have a significant impact on personal finances. Next, Kiyosaki discusses how taxes are often used to encourage certain types of behavior or investment. For example, he notes that many governments offer tax breaks or incentives for investing in real estate, which can make it a more attractive investment option. Kiyosaki also emphasizes the importance of understanding the tax code and taking advantage of legal tax deductions and loopholes. He notes that many wealthy people are able to minimize their tax burden by taking advantage of these deductions and loopholes. Finally, Kiyosaki discusses the concept of corporate entities and how they can be used to minimize taxes and protect personal assets. He notes that creating a corporation or LLC can help protect personal assets in the event of a lawsuit or other legal action, and can also offer tax advantages. Overall, Chapter 11 of Rich Dad Poor Dad highlights the importance of understanding taxes and how they impact personal finances. Kiyosaki encourages readers to educate themselves on the tax code, take advantage of legal tax deductions and loopholes, and consider the benefits of creating a corporate entity to protect personal assets and minimize taxes. Throughout the book, Kiyosaki emphasizes the importance of developing a mindset of abundance and learning, how to use one's creativity and skills to generate income. He also highlights the role that education, particularly financial education, plays in achieving success. Moreover, Kiyosaki stresses the importance of taking calculated risks, such as investing in real estate or starting a business, and understanding the tax code to minimize expenses and protect assets.
he also encourages readers to be mindful of their personal. Spending habits and to focus on building assets rather than accumulating liabilities. Overall, Rich Dad Poor Dad provides readers with valuable insights and practical advice for achieving financial independence. By challenging traditional financial beliefs and emphasizing the importance of financial literacy and action, Kiyosaki's book has become a timeless classic for anyone seeking to achieve long-term financial success.